Cinematic Gaming Brutal! What's up everybody? Jim here. Welcome back for another exciting game hunting video. Today, I was in the neighborhood of Tachikawa and I really wanted to go to what I thought was going to be an awesome game shop here, uh, loaded with games to dig through. As it turned out though, it was actually a trading card shop, uh, so that falls on me. Didn't quite do my research well enough, so I was a little bummed about that, but I was not going to waste a trip. And it was a beautiful day after all, so I decided to head over to the Book Off Super Bazaar, which was right near where the card shop was. I haven't been to this place in about six months or so, but I remembered it being loaded with lots and lots of games, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to dig through all these games in this Book Off and see if we can come away with some awesome deals. So let's do just that. Here we go. All right, let's get started uh, with a sign that lets you know you're in the right place. It says Retro Game, in case you can't read Katakana. Uh, they had a bunch of these brand new uh, game compilations. I think it's all like Jalico and Data East stuff. And we had some of these, one of these knockoff consoles, which they're selling for like 10 bucks. Uh, I don't necessarily think I want that. And this AV Famicom for over 14,000 yen. Uh, even though the box is ratty, but it was complete. And we got a bunch of boxed Famicom and Super Famicom games in this case. And the, the prices are a little confused. Although I see that copy of DuckTales back there waving its tail feathers at me. Loves me some DuckTales. But uh, a lot of the games that were actually in this case, uh, some of them were actually priced at about what you would see like on the shelf as well. I think they just, this is kind of like spillover. But they've got Rockman 5 in there, Twinbee. Some Kunio-kun, some Jaja Maru-kun, Mario 3, uh, all that good stuff. And these boxes all look like they're in pretty decent shape. You can see a lot of them, though. They have a yellow sticker just above the price sticker, and that'll tell you if there's some damage or uh, something missing or otherwise. Uh, some good Famicom stuff here, including some Turtles, some Rockman, some Chippendale Rescue Rangers, which I absolutely love, and Mad City which is actually the better Famicom version of Bayou Billy and a Famicom disc system as well. So that's pretty cool. And a handful of disc system games for it. Yeah, uh, Bayou Billy, kind of well known for being uh, way too hard, but uh, Mad City is much better. We got Goemon. Uh, we've got Violinist of Hamon, which is a great game. I actually put it in my top 10 Japan exclusive Super Famicom games. Gradius 3, uh, also always a joy to play. But they had a bunch of box Super Famicom games here, including three copies of uh, Super Bonk 2, more Gradius, more Goemon, Dragon Ball Z, Super Bomberman, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, that's something that's worth doing. Ooh, Papua-kun for 5,900 yen. That's a really good one, another Japan exclusive. Um, but that's maybe a reason you're going to want to learn. If you're going to come to Japan to do some game hunting, uh, learn maybe a little bit of katakana or a few kanji. Just learn how to spot the games you want uh, just by reading the spines, because in a lot of these game shops, that's what you're going to have to do. We got some Rockman X. We got some Mickey Magical Adventure 3. Some Sailor Moon. Beautiful game, and, oh, Macross, Scrambled Valkyrie, amazing game. Uh, but yeah, priced at a premium these days. And Lady Stalker, I haven't done that in years. Final Fight, Gundam Wing, Endless Duel back there. Uh, was going to pick it up because that's a pretty good price, but I saw I was missing the manual, uh, so I decided to pass on that one. We've got some Rockman X2, which is beautiful. And so even some uh, Magic Knight Ray Earth, which is cool, even though it's not as good as the Saturn game. Even some uh, some Darius, some Super Darius. So that's very good. And Loose Carts as well. And Wild Guns. 
for over 54,000 yen. That puts it right at like 400 bucks. Not a cheap game by any stretch of the imagination. We've got some other good stuff here. Like a whole little Dragon Quest area. So that was kind of cool. Even though Dragon Quest games really, you know, shouldn't warrant. They don't, they're not that expensive. Uh, some of those uh, Pokemon games, I know they can get real expensive. And they're very popular, even though I myself have never even played a Pokemon. So I'm not exactly the uh, foremost master of that. But some Dodon Pachi, Daiojo, Black Label, EX, etc., etc. A really great game. But again, pretty pricey. And some of these uh, N64 games as well. Uh, which most of them, again, uh, I should have been on the shelf, probably. Uh, Shinmu is back there. Uh, who knows why? It's a common game. But we got Sakura Wars Columns 2, which is a lot of fun. Alien Trilogy Crows, which is an expensive game, but an awesome game anyway. Dodon Pachi. Amazing game, a trendsetter in the world of uh, them bullet hell shooters, so that ain't bad. Uh, but we had some cool PS1 stuff in there, Saturn, etc. And some 32X games, including my favorite 32X games. Uh, well, that's not 32X. I'm thinking Knuckles Chaotix. There's Sonic and Knuckles. There's a little bit of uh, Neo Geo in there as well, some Mega Drive. And for <laughs> 45,000 yen... A PC Engine Duo R. Um, wow, what a case! All right, now we come to the real bulk of this video starting off with uh, a modest selection of sega saturn but they have the best sega saturn game ever made street fighter real battle on film van damme was in street fighter before mortal kombat how do you like that uh capcom generations 2 with all of the uh the different ghouls and ghosts arcade conversion that's pretty cool and uh for 22 28 uh, Macross, do you remember love? And it's complete. There's a little bit of damage to the disc, uh, but nothing uh, I wasn't uh, going to be able to live with. Uh, but we do have some pretty cool Dreamcast games here as well. We got Shinmu, which is ever present. Comic Party, which I reviewed years ago. That game is lame. Uh, and Capcom versus SNK, complete with spine card in great shape for 13.19 can't go wrong with that why do they, they always have so many copies of the shinmu games uh co veronica with the cool sleeve uh but better yet my favorite version of biohazard 2 the original anyway uh the dreamcast version biohazard 2 i think it's called like value plus or something kind of a weird uh way to title it but that's my favorite version it's got all the cool extra bonus modes and unlockables available and i like playing on the dreamcast uh, we got some Kirby and something else. It looked kind of like Advance Wars or something on the Game Boy Color. Well, then it couldn't be Advance Wars, could it? Uh, this I thought was awesome. Wario Land, 1800 yen, and it is complete and in really, really good condition. Uh, you don't come across complete games like that for that cheap that often these days, so that was surprising. And for 1,045 yen, literally like $7, a complete... Near Mint Yoshi no Panapon, uh, which, if you don't know what that is, it's the Japanese version of Tetris Attack, and that is very cool. Uh, we had some GameCube games as well, though GameCube I'm uh, not so hot on these days. There are some uh, classic GameCube titles to be sure, but it's just not a console uh, you know a lot of people collect for. I don't collect for it myself. This is cool though. The link cable for your GBA, and then you get all those puzzle games. You get your Dr. Mario and your Tetris Attack. And there's one other thing in there. It might have been Kirby's Avalanche or something. Um, but that's pretty cool. But yeah, like Dream... Uh, not Dreamcast. Uh, Dreamcast is amazing. But GameCube uh, doesn't exactly float my boat these days, if you know what I mean. Um, but there you go. Got some Mega Drive games, and they are complete. As is usual, most Mega Drive games you'll find will be boxed, just because those clamshell cases are sturdy. But, uh, they're usually more expensive as well. This, I thought, was pretty cool. 3,137 yen for, uh, I think the original Turok. I'm pretty sure the sequel is called Violence Killer. Which is pretty cool, kind of redundant. 
but I like that a lot. And then we got a bunch of boxed N64 games here as well, but a lot of repeats. Plenty of Mario Tennises and Mario Parties. So we got, and I, like, no lie, just an endless wall of loose cards. So we got some Sonic games here again, 2,500 Mega Drive games. Not getting any cheaper, and that's too bad. We also got Dai Makaimura. We've got Street Fighter back there, Champion Edition, and a lone Virtua Boy game. Uh, again, not something I get a lot of requests for. Street Fighter 2 Dash Plus Champion Edition, uh, aka just Turbo, I think. That's about uh, 16 bucks or so. And these uh, little Game Boy game protectors. Thank goodness they had them. You can't ever have too many of those, am I right? Coming along now to some boxed Famicom games. Uh, with all these Namco ones, those are the easiest to spot. And again, very similar to the Mega Drive games. They have those nice, sturdy plastic clamshell cases. So they're going to be just fine for the next million years. Uh, the original Gombody Goemon, I think, it's 3228. Uh, I don't think I've ever played any of the 8 bit ones. It looks like it's a little RPG there, which is fine, but uh, I certainly. Like my Goemon platformers on the Super Famicom, that's uh, definitely my preference. And we got some boxed Famicom games here as well. We got Fighting Golf, uh, which, uh, as you know, the title might have you informed, it's not like Happy Gilmore at all. Uh, and Famicom Ultima, which these are kind of cute. <laughs> these take the Ultima series, give it some anime look to it. That's funny, like the opposite of what happened when you would uh, get Japanese games going over to the U.S. They would always want to ditch the anime look, but uh, vice versa in Japan. Something like Ultima, not very anime friendly, but they found a way! Um, we've got some more stuff here, including something. I'm told it's 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 excellent, that thing, whatever that was. Um, and uh, what else we got here? We got some Mahjong, exciting stuff, baseball. Can't, uh, very unambiguous that game. It's baseball, and it's tennis, and it's F1 race. And these, these games, this is, a, like, a miracle that these boxes are still intact. Uh, and some Final Fantasy 3. Uh, for all you Final Fantasy enthusiasts out there. Actually, I used to collect those more or less just for the box art, because it's really beautiful artwork. Uh, Tag Team Pro Wrestling. On the cover, I think we got, like, Terry Gordy and... Like Hawk from the Road Warriors? I don't know. Uh, but that's cool. Uh, again, these boxes, no small miracle that they're still intact after 30-something to 40 years. 2300 for Dragon Quest IV. Uh, what a beautiful box that game has. And Lord have mercy, the games. The endless sea of games. Transformers! Yeah! The mystery of Convoy. I'm sorry. Anyone who's ever been watching this channel for a while, you know I have to. I have to say that every time I find that game. Uh, Ninja Ryu Kinden 2. Pretty good shape as well. 1800 yen. Uh, great game. Any of the original Ninja Gaiden trilogy is always uh, gonna be a good time. And, uh, popular game as well. Anyone that wants Famicom games, I can usually send them a Ninja Ryu Kinden. And expect no complaints. Uh, we got some more boxed uh, Super Famicom stuff here, including Sailor Moon R. That's over 4,000 yen. That's a decent beat-em-up, as a matter of fact. And Sailor Moon 
S. This is one of the uh, puzzle games, though. 2300 yen. Might be Hua Hua Panic or something like that. There are a bunch of Sailor Moon puzzle games, in case you didn't know. Uh, and then this one, I mean, who could pass on All-Star Dream Slam? Just look at that. Eat your heart out, fellas. For the ladies of the Dream Slam. Who's that? Bull Nakano, Asia Kong, or Aja Kong. And uh, Akira Hokuto. Uh, so yeah, sexiest damn wrestling game ever made. Uh, just behind, I don't know, what, a backyard wrestling? I have no idea. Um, bunch more games here, bunch of copies of Puyo Puyo, Super Mario RPG, that's all well and good. Although, uh, Super Mario RPG just about to get its re-release, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, 480 yen for this Street Fighter 2. Uh, missing the manual though, uh, which is too bad. Another bit of advice for you, uh, learn enough Japanese to, like, read labels. <laughs> so you can, uh, you know, know what, uh, what is and is not included. We got the Super Donkey Kong series here, aka Donkey Kong Country, 1591. And that ain't bad because this is complete and it's in really good condition. Uh, and again, that's a. Uh, you can never go wrong with some Super Donkey Kong. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Super Butoden 2, 1591. Again, in immaculate condition. And with conversion rate, that's, that's right around $10. So that ain't bad. 3200 though for Super Butoden 3. I have no idea why. Um, you know, not a, not a uh, you know uncommon game or anything. Definitely not more uncommon than uh, Super Butoden 2, I would think. Uh, but what can you do? And looky here, we got a whole lot of Super Famicom games. I want to take a look at some of the better ones here. 1500 for this Gambare Goemon 2. Uh, one of my favorites, uh, Super Famicom exclusives, uh, Kirby's Superstar or Super Deluxe. Get a whole bunch of fun games in there. Uh, Sailor Moon S, uh, with some kid's name on it, so it's 480 yen. Again, that's another one of the, uh, puzzle games, which I'm less interested in. The beat-em-ups and the fighting game. Uh, speaking of, Sailor Moon S, uh, is the fighter, 1800 yen. Not a great fighter, mind you, but... I heard it was like modded and they're playing it at like fighting game tournaments now, which is interesting. And the original Sailor Moon bundled with the manual and it's only uh, like 1200, 1228 yen. So that's like, I don't know, eight bucks, seven bucks, something like that with exchange rates. So that's a good deal on that one. The Sailor Moon games, for whatever reason, are getting a little bit pricier these days. Excuse me while I fiddle with this. I'm a, I'm such a great cameraman, aren't I? Uh, I'm setting this stuff aside though, so that I can uh, hang on to it. I'm gonna wanna come back for that later. Uh, we got a bunch of copies of Yoshi's Island, Rockman Soccer, which I'm a huge Rockman fan and I don't like soccer at all, so like 50-50. And Rockman X2, again with some kid's name on it. Thanks a lot, pal. You lowered the value of my games. Coming down to just about the wire now. Just a few more box Super Famicom games and some odds and ends, including a really ratty, ratty box on this Fatal Fury. Uh, so I had to say no thank you for that. I don't like stuff where the box smells like smoke and is all torn to pieces. Um, this is really cool though. The Caravan Shooting Collection by Hudson. So it's got, I think, Star Force, Star Soldier, and Hector 87. Uh, so that's pretty cool. 4,100 yen, that's actually not such a bad deal on that. Uh, so yeah, I dug and dug and dug. Uh, after I put the camera away, I mean, you see, like, it's an endless wall of games. I didn't want this video to be five hours long. We have some consoles here, which I didn't know what the hell they were up to with these consoles. 10,000 yen. 
for this PlayStation with, I think it had no controllers, so it was uh, discounted. So that's all well and good, but even at like half that, it's like, what? A PS1 with no, there's millions of these things. They're not exactly uh, hard to come by. Uh, this one here, what is that, 5819, and it doesn't have the power cord or the AV cable. What are you doing? You were on a kind of a roll, book off, and then you, you, I come to the consoles, and you're horrifying me. Orange Spice GameCube with nothing on it. <laughs> I sound upset. I'm really not that upset. I don't know. Um, PS1, again, with no AC adapter, and a, a proper PS1, the real PS1, mind you. Over 7,000 yen for that, though, like 50 bucks for it. Um, and then we got some N64s and this. I didn't even want to look. But here's a Mega Drive, and it's 20,000 yen, which put it around, probably around 150 bucks. And it's a Mega Drive. Come on, how uncommon are these things? There's millions, literally millions. And uh, this Hori Stick for PlayStation, which is pretty cool, uh, 2710. And you can play all your PS1 fighting games with that cool stick, or you can play your PS2 fighting games with it as well. Why not? Uh, the last little stop here. Uh, let's play. Okay, well, don't mind if I do. It's a sale. So again, a bunch of stuff that was just like overflowing. I mean, you saw the wall of games. They got more than they can uh, they can handle. More than they know what to do with. So they got a bunch of stuff here. They're marking it either as like 100 yen, which right now is like 68 cents as I record this. So for 68 cents, you could have this. Shin Nihon Pro Desu! With some Great Muda and some Jushin Thunder Liger. Two of the all time greats. You can get 50% uh, off on this Bomberman. Super Bomberman. Is that three or five? Whichever one it is. Whatever it is, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, I see a sticker that says 50% off, and I just go for it, man. Uh, and this Super Toten, 480, 50% off. Which, you know, these, I mean, again, it's like spillover, but also these, uh, some of them, upon closer inspection, uh, they were a little bit grimy, some of them a little dirty. Uh, but that's nothing you can't fix with a Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol. Uh, so like 270 yen for some of these, 100 yen for some of them. Um, so some of these as low as like, yeah, like 68 cents up to maybe like $2. Uh, and that ain't bad if you're just looking for something to uh, play or have in your collection. If you're a loose cart kind of guy. I know these days lots of people, they like they likes their boxes, they likes their manuals. Um, but for the rest of us, we got loose carts. But hey, what did I get today? Let's take a look. We got... Macross, Do You Remember Love for 2228. That's a fantastic game. And complete with Spine Card. We also picked up a copy of Capcom vs. SNK for 1319. Again, complete with Spine Card. Very nice. We got this copy of Sailor Moon on the Super Famicom with manual for 1228. That's a good deal on that, if I don't mind saying so. Complete copy of Wario Land. Near Mint, really good looking game. And we also picked up that copy of Yoshi no Panapon for 1045. Again, Near Mint. And for a price like that, I could not pass on it. And then on the uh, slightly more expensive side, I did pick up Chippendale Rescue Rangers for 3591. A fantastic game. Somebody's going to be very happy to receive that, I have to imagine. And. For 2300 yen, this copy of Mad City. Again, the Japanese counterpart to Bayou Billy. A better game because it's not so soul crushingly difficult, making it a good game, as a matter of fact. So there you go. Those are my best finds of the day. How did I do? Let me know down in the comments. Had myself uh, quite a fun time digging through a mountain of games at this book off Super Bazaar and uh, hanging out in Tachikawa. Uh, so that's it for this one, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Goodbye.